Hi, welcome to Marker Board Videos. My name is Nancy Foote. Your calculator may look slightly different from mine, but once you know how to work one Casio graphing calculator, you can work all of them, so it's going to be exactly the same. The first thing you have to do is put your data in a table. So look for the STAT, S-T-A-T icon. In my case, it's number two. Yours might be different. I can either hit the number two or I can cursor over and say enter. I kind of cheated and I put my data in already. So all you have to do is put all of your data in and you're good to go. Once you're done with that, you're going to press graph. Now if you'll notice none of these say graph, but I have a little arrow here. I'm going to press F6. That still doesn't say graph. I have a little arrow here and there's my graph button. I'm going to graph um, I'm going to graph one in just a minute, but first I have to set it up. So if you'll see under above G6 it says set. So we're going to press that so that we can set it up. I don't want a scatter plot. What I want is a, a pie, or, um, box and whiskers plot. So again, none of these say box and whiskers. I'm going to hit the arrow. And there is box. So I'm going to hit that. And now I'm good to go. Anytime you want to return to the list you were at before, just hit exit. That's like a back arrow on a calculator. Uh, let's make sure it says X list, list 1. That's where we put the data was in list 1, so that's good. All right, we're going to hit exit to go back to that previous screen. And we're going to tell it we want to graph. So there's our graph. And that's our box and whiskers plot. Yours may not be in color. That's okay. It's going to look exactly the same. If you want to see the data, you're going to hit shift and F1, you're going to find trace. And you can see that it tells you actually that the minimum value is 60, quartile 1 is 70, me the median is 80, quartile 3 is 90, and the max is 100. And that's how you make a box and whiskers plot with a Casio graphing calculator.